been a wild week for anime, for my favorite animes. We're saying goodbye to one, and we're going to welcome back another. After uh, nearly five week hiatus, well, welcome to another week of episode reviews, mga ka lifestyle. Oh my god, I just, uh, I just saw Tower of God episode 12. What a fucking good ending! Hindi ko akalain na ganon yung magiging ending nun! Woo! Oh my god! Just when you think that the show is almost over, okay? Sa ganong klasing ending, mukhang hindi pa tapos ito. <laughs> Alright? So, we found out that uh, the fluffy guy with the horns is actually one of King Jihad's assassins. Okay? His mission was to kill Pam, an irregular. Kasi may pit yata ni pag pinagbabawo sa tao ang mga ganong klase tao. Pam is an irregular, pero inalaw siyang uh, itake yung admin test, kumbaga, ng mga, ng mga ibang test directors. Okay? <clears throat> he was about to succeed. Okay? He was about to pass the test until boom! Rachel double crosses him. Okay? Tinulak siya papalabas ng bubble. After, okay? After defending her uh, against the bull na pinadala ng assassin. Alright? If you see it, okay, if you see through the eyes of the test director, bawal ito. This is in outright interference. Alright? Pero, malaki ang tiwala ng mga kaibigan ni Bam that he will accomplish the test. Because he's doing it for Rachel. And then, Rachel does this. Okay? So, for me, this is the best episode of Tower of God. Okay, episode 12. Hindi mo akalain na yung mismong love interest niya ang gugulang sa kanya. Okay? Hindi mo akalain na magagawa ni Rachel ito. Being a princess of Jihad, a, uh, a person of high esteem. Okay? So, wow. <laughs> Hindi ko akalain, I never thought that Rachel would do this to Bam. After all, he he has gone through just to see her again. Okay? After all the boy has gone through. My God! Sus! Okay, let me catch my breath here. Alright. This is Tower of God's best episode so far all right episode 12 okay hands down okay hats off to the animators and producers wow <clears throat> you guys startled me here you guys swept me off my feet with this episode holy shit <laughs> holy shit you know what that's how we go you know what I'm saying? Oh my God! Can't wait for can't wait for episode 13. Well, uh, I hope this is not the final episode. Okay, I hope this is not the final episode. But I feel this is not the last. This is not the last. Only one thing I can say about this next anime. Welcome back. <laughs> Oh, I'm sorry. Don't ask anyone. Okay, now this anime took a uh, somewhat a five-week hiatus because of well, you know what, the pandemic. So again, welcome back, Yu-Gi-Oh Sevens. Now, episode six. Okay, I would. I'm gonna. I'm going to call this the ramen episode. Okay. Uh. The. They found a uh, they found a new friend in the ramen cave, which you got to wield for a single bowl of ramen. All right, the 
the crazy um the crazy stakes these these uh, these kids would these kids would uh would uh what you call this would gladly take just to just to, just to have a rush duel okay <laughs> kahit sa mga nakaraang series may mga ganyan din eh so the stakes are crazy but they still but they still want to do it okay now uh <clears throat> In light of uh, they, they did that rush to it because they wanted to well, wanted to in a way save their favorite uh, ramen restaurant, which well in the end they did. Dahil na inspire yung <clears throat> yung owner na gumawa ng isang klase ng ramen na uh, na based sa rush duel, which is called which is now called rush ramen. Ever since that as ever since he came up with that recipe, ayun, dinumog na siya uli. So, nahati ang competition between him and the uh, the newly opened one na medyo social, medyo saucy, medyo high-tech. Okay? Overall, Yu-Gi-Oh! Sevens is not a disappointment. Okay? If you're into, uh, if you feel other Yu-Gi-Oh! series has has, uh, has, uh, came up short, when it comes to the comic relief, you better watch Sevens. Kung gusto mo talaga matawa. <laughs> grave, grave. Now, uh, in the end, uh, Yuga promised the uh, the ramen kid. Okay, I forgot. I forgot his name. I just call him the ramen kid. Uh, a way to uh, promise him a way to install dual rules based on ramen. So. Sinamahan niya doon sa lugar kung saan niya na-install yung Rush Duel Rules. We all know. If you've seen episode 1, you know what I'm talking about. Alright? By the way, episode 1 is also the, the entire franchise's 1,000th episode. So it's a milestone. If you're a new Yu-Gi-Oh! fan, you better watch that because it's a milestone. Okay? 7th episode 1. Now, to their surprise, wala na yung monumento doon na dinuel ni, na nilabanan ni Yuga para ma-install yung rush dual rules niya. It's gone. It's totally gone. Siyempre, nagtataka sila kung bakit. Right? Now, uh, I got a theory on that. I don't know if you can call it a theory. Kasi, mabigat yung kalaban nila eh. Isang korporasyon. Isang malaking kumpanya called Goha Corp. Okay? Uh, what you call this? Uh, you can call it an autocratic an autocratic company kasi halos lahat ng lahat ng uh, kumbaga the entire city's way of life is based on their is based on that company's policies so yeah I bet uh, Goa Corp had a hand on that mukhang alam nila kung saan eh, kung saan nakatago yung kung saan talaga tinago yung monumentong yun yung pinuntahan nila Yuga para ma-install ang Rush Duel I think they know that beforehand. So, what I think nila ni nila yung Team Sevens. Okay, let's call them Team Sevens and their new fan friend, the uh, the ramen kid. So, what I think nila don, alos na. It's gone. So, well, let's see what let's see what happens. Okay, I think they're going to uh, they're going to set it up for. I think that's probably a setup for an even bigger arc. In uh, within within sevens, I I'm a bit excited because I'm eh. so a lot of conspiracy theories will be coming up. I have come up this week. Now most of them I don't know of. All right, I don't want to spoil myself when it comes to this episode review. So overall, welcome back Yu-Gi-Oh sevens. <laughs> welcome back. Right near episode 11. First time the show has started. Uh, then, first time the show started uh, by not using its OP. Okay? By not using its OP, it went straight to the story. Now, this was the ap- aftermath ito ng ginawan ng ginawang kalokohan ni Claire. Okay? Episode 10 showed us how ruthless Claire can be when it comes to her, when it comes to enemies. Okay? How how a merciless psycho she is. Okay. Cold and cal- how cold and calculating the bitch is. Okay. I don't want to call her a bitch because uh, 
she's uh i think she's, she's one of the most manipulative characters in anime history all right in modern anime she's one of the most manipulative lead characters and well uh nagkaroon ng kumaga nagkaroon ng agam-agam yung buong grupo nila and their leader decided to uh, to lay low muna decided for the group to lay low muna and well uh, while they were laying low the troops the, some troops came out okay? yung isang kakilala ni Shuichi sa school abay kasama pala dun sa mga napatay ni, sa mga sa mga napatay nila through yung through that uh, forest fire isa pala ba, isa pala yun sa mga namatay dun sa gang na yun member pala siya ng gang na yun now if I were Shuichi I wouldn't be sorry about it I wouldn't be sorry about it he joining joining that that bunch of shady characters was his choice okay now here's where it got interesting Shuichi just discovered his ruthlessness Okay, eto nagpaganda sa episode na to. Meron na humanting sa kanilang yung natitirang member ng gang na yun. Sinundan siya at hinantingan siya. Nagkasagupaan sila sa isang junk shop. So, he showed mercy, but tumawag si Claire. Tinatanong kung ano nangyayari. Hindi alam ni Claire to. Until na tumawag, na siya mismo tumawag kay Shuichi. And Shuichi said, Everything's all right. Next thing I knew, he was throwing a, he was throwing his big gun out. <laughs> Bang! Pinaris ali ko doon kalaban. Eh pataas na. Pinatay niya. Tinuluyan na niya. Right? That moment he showed no mercy. At that moment, he showed us how ruthless he can be. Okay? How ruthless he turned out to be. Okay? This what's make this what makes Gleitner a good anime to watch. I mean, discount the violence, discount the um, the psychological aspect, but it's the psychological aspect that actually makes this a good anime. All right. Now, a new anime appears. Well, it turns out to be kung talaga napano yung episode na yon. May pinakita ng alien kay uh, may pinakita ng a certain girl called. Madoka. Ah, Madoka. Uh, Honoka. Doon sa alien ng, yung origin ng mga origin ng mga coins. Ba- magbabarkada pala sila. Honoka, Suiji, at saka yung pinakitang bagong kalaban. Wow! <laughs> mukhang, mapa- mukhang mapapalaban yung dalawa dito. At uh, kakilala ni Suiji yun. Suiji knows him. So... And by the way, um, uh, the alien, by the, from the way the alien was talking to the skies, and uh, it has already teasered the uh, the title of the title of the next episode. Mukang, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know, ano, mukang patapos na ang glide ang glide near, mukang patapos na, or it's either. Uh, episode 12 will be the last one or may bagong ano doon pa lang magsisimula yung tel- major arc ng anime na to so let's see so well overall Gladiator episode 11 grabe <laughs> napaisip ako dun <laughs> napaisip ako dun wow wow a mild-mannered guy like Shuichi can be this ruthless? Holy shit! <laughs> Holy shit! Okay, um... I never thought this, uh... Never thought Tamayomi would, uh, would have... Uh, would, would end, actually. I thought it would go on it. So, we're going to review... The final episode of Tamayomi. Now... We all know that Na- Nakata was able to to homer against Yomi, okay? But the only person that uh, the only person that uh, that got depressed after that was their coach, 
So, sinabi ng teammate niya na don't do so. Okay? So, medyo nagbe-breakdown na siya. Nagpahalong siya sa manager nila na si CR muna yung pala. <laughs> yung pala iiyak. Yung pala iiyak na, ano na, na mental breakdown na. So, kinusap siya ng isang teammate niya, ng isang player nila, uh, yun nga, don't give up. And, uh, just go, just coach how you just coach how you want to coach so yun nga, basically yun na sinasabi and nakata is also a pitcher <laughs> oy so perfect rival siya against Yomi kasi Yomi is a pitcher who also bats si nakata naman closer kasi si si Yomi starter si nakata naman closer okay in the major leagues, if you're the closing pitcher, you're the most dangerous one, usually. Okay? Best example eh, for, of, of a real-life closer is Mariano Rivera. Okay? The great Mariano Rivera of the New York Yankees. I'm a Yankees fan. Okay? And I know who, and I know how dangerous Mariano Rivera is when he when when Joe when Joe Torre asks him to, to close the game. Okay? He's dangerous. <laughs> okay? So okay bang pitching style nila. Kasi si Nakata, closer, as I said before, and Yomi is Yomi is the starting pitcher dun sa school nila. But when it comes to batting, huge disparity. Okay? May pagkabopol si Yomi sa batting, samantala si Nakata, pucha home, ano, slugger. Okay? The, the, the woman is a slugger. Okay? So, yun nga, they, they face again in the sort of the final inning. So, Yomi pitches, nakata bats. First few pitches, puro na, natatamaan ni, natatamaan ni nakata. Yung mga pitch ni Yomi. Then, then the last one, pack, fly out. Nanalo pa, <laughs> nanalo pa ko si Gaya, yung school ni Yomi. So, that's where Tao Yomi ended. Pero don't you think, uh, medyo bitin? No? Medyo bitin eh. I don't know, because they probably they ended it probably because of well, you know what? Eh, siguro itutuloy na lang nila for another season yung second half of that tournament. Eh, I don't know. I don't know what the animators are thinking about right now. I don't know what the how the animators are thinking for Tamayomi. But it was a good anime. It was a good sports anime. Okay, I'm not much into sports anime. Okay. For, for one thing, the only the only three sports anime I know are Major, uh, Slam Dunk, and Colocos Basketball. Yun ang tatlong yun. Okay, yun ang talaga yung mga napanood kong sports anime. So, I'll add another I'll add another one to that. Tamayomi. Okay, it's, a, it's a good one. It's not just for... Uh, it's not just... It's not just a girls anime. It's also for boys. Okay? If you're a uh, if you're a budding baseball player, if you're if you're a if you're a boy, and you want to know how baseball is played, you can also watch Tamayomi to absorb the finer points of the game. So, yeah, menjo bitin yung ending, but considering the uh, the current uh, the current uh, the current the current state the world is in right now, so. Maybe it's a, uh, a smart thing to do on the part of the animators to, to end Tamayomi like that. Make it well. At least there's a hint that there will be a season 2. Okay? Hindi ba tapos yung tournament? Okay? The tournament isn't over yet. So, there will be a season 2. Okay? That's, that's what I... That's the way I see it. There will be a season 2. Kasi, uh, well, we, we have to know if uh, Shinko Siga... If Koshigaya went all the way, went to the finals, or they face Ryu Yukan for the finals, that that would be that would be a nice uh, that would be a nice end to to that season. Okay, the rivalry between Yomi and Nakata, this isn't over. This isn't done yet. Okay? This isn't done. I say, para pala sila pitcher, but there's a huge disparity in batting. Like I said kanina, Yomi sucks. While Nakata is the king, is the queen. Okay? While Nakata is the batting queen. Kumbaga, 
if I would uh, if I would look at my baseball history, she, it reminds me uh, she's uh, she's a female Babe Ruth. Kumaga. Babe Ruth was a pitcher, and he's one of the greatest sluggers of all time. He was uh, the first. He was the first to have 700 career home runs in in the sports history. He, he's the first man to to hold. To Homer, to to Homer 700 more than 700 times, the first in baseball history, siya. So, Nakata reminds me a lot of Babe Ruth, okay? the great Babe Ruth. So that rivalry is going to be interesting once uh, if if season two comes around. Okay? If the animators will announce a season two for Tamayomi, I'm going to watch it. All right. I really want to know kung sa hanggang saan aapot ang Koshigaye. Uh, they're uh, they're starting to be they be just they just became a good with episode 12 they became a good team by beating Ryo Yukan. Okay? They did they almost got faced by Nakata slugging and the overall deep and the overall talent uh, this school had. Okay? Kumaga, pumasok silang dihado rito eh. They were the underdogs in this game. But they, but they, but they probably made, but they probably pulled off the biggest upset in the tournament. So, Tamayomi, episode 12. And, well, uh, we're gonna see, and, yeah, see you later, Tamayomi. I hope there will be a, I'm praying right now that there will be a season 2.